Hey guys, it's Dino. It's a game uh, 8 and white 1. So, as usual, concentrate on the moves of a white player. White opens up with d4. A really good move. But this, this, uh, this guy is protected now and we are opening pieces. So it's really good. E4 and D4 really similar. D4 is more positional chess and E4 is more for beginners to more tactical for, for, for beginners to practice their tactical vision and things like that. Knight 6 really good move also. Uh, not allowing white to play E E4 and uh, occupy, occupy the center. Also developing a piece. One of the best moves, uh, second uh, first moves uh, from black besides this. Now, out of three, uh, developing a piece also towards the center, really good move. And now, e6. e6 is a uh, is a move that is not uh, allowing white to see what is going to uh, what black is going to play next what uh, what uh, kind of opening the black is going to choose so that's uh, and this this move also is opening this bishop and and going for a fast fast castling so it's a good move and of course White, uh, black is preparing this kind of moves to fight for the center. Now e3. I'm, I'm not gonna ask you to stop video here because this this moves. Uh, there's a lot of combinations in the opening, so I'm gonna tell you the appropriate time to stop video and to think about the position. E6, of course, as I said in one of the previous uh, videos, that this opening is is played in, was played in, that this bishop now is blocked, but this is a cool system and uh, white is preparing to play bishop e3 and and knight uh, b to d2 and putting a pressure on this on this square and going for a push. So that's the system developed by Cole, and it's uh, in, and it's a really really good system. Now, I plays d5, fighting for the center, and now it should be three. Uh, thematic moving this. This kind of structure, as I said, putting the pressure on this, on this uh, square, and now c5. Really important moves. Move. These two moves are really important in in uh, this kind of opening, opening with d4, because they are crucial. They are putting pressure. Excuse me, putting pressure on on these squares and. Uh, for black, it's good to to not to not push this pawn and release the pressure of the center, and instead just keep this keep the tension, keep this pawn here, and and maybe take here in the right moment. So what what would you play uh, for 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 white here? Pause the video if you watch uh, the video that I done I done with this opening, you will know. But anyway, pause the video. What we do do in this position it is of course c3. C3 is played. Uh, yes, it is blocking the knight, but this this knight is going here anyway, so it doesn't matter. And this move also is played uh, because if uh, black ever pushes this pawn, we can go here and uh, keep the pressure on this. Keep the pressure on this uh, really important diagonal. 
and now knight b to d7. Interesting, interestingly, interestingly enough, this move was better than knight c3 uh, because uh, with this move, this this uh, this file is going to be uh, is not going to be blocked by by the knight. And queen can go here, and rook and they can keep keep control of this file. So that's one of the advantage. Also, uh, this uh, these two knights knights this way are connected. They are kind of uh, protecting each other and and collaborating, I guess. And if you ever take this knight, this knight can go here and jump at the same square that this knight was taken and keep protecting this this king if uh, if king ever castle castles in, in this side so those are advantages of playing the knight here it is kind of blocking this piece but uh, this piece can also can also be developed here so so it's a it's a good coordination of the pieces so now, what what would you play for uh, for white? Pause the video. It is of course as I said earlier, knight b to d two. Put it, putting on pressure on this square and preparing e five e four in the future. Now. Black bishop d6, uh, putting the pressure on the center. It is better than this move. This is kind of passive. This is more, more an active move. And of course, we should put pieces on the on the squares that that have uh, the squares where they have a maximum power. So now, pause the video. What's the next move? Is of course castling. It's time for for, for castling. And now also black castled. This move, uh, of course, castling is good, but in this particular case, maybe uh, black should have uh, postponed castling for some time because this this uh, white has some resources towards towards this side and should uh, excuse me should uh, uh, it's kind of dangerous but I want to say it's kind of dangerous already for black because we're gonna open this and then all our pieces are gonna be are gonna are gonna occupy, occupy this, this squares around the king and it's gonna be really really dangerous instead maybe maybe black should have uh, just developed maybe his queen here develop his bishop and try to just uh, not uh, not castle too early and just uh, uh, make easier for white because if if we see that black is ca has castled it's easier for us to plan our next moves you know we, we just our only plan is just to attack here and try to Try to checkmate this king. Now, what would you play for for black uh, for white? Pause the video. This bishop e1. Interesting move. I, I I thought that white is gonna push just push here, but maybe maybe in the future. It's better to when you when you push here and take with this knight and this maybe knight is taken. Maybe it's better to take with the rook and make it more active because uh, this bishop is already active and then uh, this if you know you, you want to activate as much pieces as you as as you as you as you can because more active pieces more power more and more chances for an attack that's just a uh, common sense
So in this position, black played the uh, queen c7. Good move. The this is probably the best square for the queen in this position because it is uh, putting a putting a pressure on this file that probably is going, going to be open and of course putting a pressure on the center. Now pause the video. What's the next move? It is uh, e4. The key move in this position. And we are, as you know, just with this move, with this move, uh, our piece is, is gonna come, come back to life and uh, spring to life and really be active. Uh, black takes first here, c takes d4, try to open up this this line for the bishop, for the queen, and of course, should we, should we pause the video, should we take with the knight or with the, with the pawn, or there is there's any other move, of course, we take with the pawn. And not allow uh, black to go to these two squares, two, three, two three critical squares. Of course, after black takes here, we're gonna have kind of isolated isolated pawn, but uh, it it is not that bad to have isolated pawn here. And because it it has its uh, disadvantages, but it has its advantages because uh, now we have to open files and uh, we can use that to be active and uh, make our, our opponent suffer. D takes e4, pause the video, pause the next move, it is knight takes e4. Of course knight taking with the knight, not taking with the bishop or god forbid with the rook. And uh, now b6, trying to activate this piece, really smart. And now what would you play for white, pause the video, it is bishop g5, activating the last piece and preparing to uh, go to with the rook to c1 and Attack this queen, occupy this line, and it's gonna be awesome. Now, black played uh, knight takes, since it was uh, he was afraid of that we're gonna take uh, basically that we're gonna take here and double this pawn. Reasonable fear, I guess. Pause the video. What would you do for, uh, for black, for white? It is rook e4. As I said previously, maybe it's gonna be better for us to take with the rook, and it is actually. This piece is active, and we are making this, this piece, uh, we are activating this piece too. Now bishop b7, attacking this rook, and activating the piece. What would you do for uh, for white? Pause the video. This rook c1, rook c1 attacking the piece. This is uh, 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 how do you say that the. Uh, the in between, yeah, in between move. Try to look for in between moves all the time. They are re really useful because now uh, black has to move his queen first and then maybe take here. And that's really useful. Queen b7, only square where queen can go. See now that. Black's, uh, Black's position is kind of getting worse because this queen is blocking, blocking 
connection of these two rooks and slowly but surely white is pressing and and going for a win now I'll pause the video was the next move it is of course queen uh, rook h4 attacking this this rook is really good placed and of course this rook is protecting uh, this square if knight ever leaves this f3 square and, and leaves this pawn leaves this pawn unprotected <clears throat> and now black plays g6 and we from here achieve what we wanted we created a weakness and now it's only the time and technique to 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 crash crash the king as it is uh, it is getting it is weakened those are all weak squares and let's see let's see how how can we win this the next move is uh, pause the video do you have an idea how would you exploit it's please spend a little bit more time for this move because it is really interesting it is bishop b5 bishop b5 when i thought about i i I've never considered this move but uh, if you think a little bit more about it it is pretty logical because we are see this knight is protecting this weak square and we would like to go maybe with the bishop here and tre uh, create some threats but first we have to eliminate this knight also this knight here now uh, doesn't have any squares to go which is a plus also rook cannot protect protect it like that and queen has to go here to protect it of course maybe maybe a bishop can go here but we are gonna take this rook so queen e8 and now what would you play for uh, for white pause video it is knight e5 putting more pressure on this knight if black takes black takes here the path this path is gonna be opened and this knight is gonna be attacked twice instead of taking black play bishop c8 protecting this knight and uh, what do you think the next move is pause the video it is rook takes c8 of course you see the idea if takes we can take and we get two pieces for uh, two pieces for rook and it's a good good exchange <clears throat> and, and also our pieces are really active near the king and it is all very good queen takes of course black cannot take with this piece because then queen is going to be trapped and now pause the video bishop takes d7 also also good is this because we are attacking here and threatening checkmate here check and then take here with a rook so both, both moves were really good queen c7 and now pause the video the next move is interesting too it is knight g4 
and now we see how white is uh, taking an advantage of these weak squares knight is uh, really good to jump here and also the bishop of course white cannot, black cannot take here because we're gonna take the queen so with this move we indirectly protected protected this bishop <coughs> now h5 now pause the video what's the next move this of course out of six king king goes to g7 and uh, what would you do for for uh, black for white excuse me pause the video interesting move another sacrifice knight takes h5 why because what do you think the next next move is it is queen takes h5 you see this really really strong heavy pieces on this open file near the king and it is absolutely absolutely deadly black tries to, the only move to defend rook h8 and now can you see the final blow this pause the video bishop h6 and here it is over see if he he takes takes and it's a mate if he goes here of course it's a checkmate and if black tries this it is either way a checkmate let's go back review some of these things c3 keeping this bishop on this diagonal knight goes to d2 castle both sides excuse me rookie one developing a rookie before push pushing this pawn queen c7 e4 now crucial move in this position takes takes d takes take with the knight b6 bishop b, g5 developing another piece knight takes and taking with the rook bishop b7 and in the in between move attacking the queen queen b8 rook h4 g6 creating a weakness and now really really good idea to attack this knight because it is defending this crucial square this weakness and also doesn't have any squares square to go and now queen has to go to this awkward square knight is activated and attacking bishop c8 defending but it is too late rook c8 queen c8 and taking taking a knight with the bishop queen c7 and knight g4 i like this move a lot attacking all of these weaknesses now h5 check sacrificing the piece bringing another piece into the action and final move bishop h6 as usual i hope you enjoyed this game like and subscribe and see you in the next video